A country without old people. Samyukta Ratnapataka Sutra. Many kalpas ago, there was a country where people who grew old were expelled from the kingdom. But the prime minister of that country adored his father and had boundless respect for him. So he decided to break this law by discreetly building a cellar where he installed his father and visited him every day. One day, a celestial asura arrived before the king of that country, showed him two snakes and said, If you can tell the male snake from the female snake, I'll bestow my blessing on your country, but if you're wrong, I'll punish you severely, I'll unleash an epidemic and you and all your subjects will die. Not knowing the answer, the king was very worried. He summoned all his ministers and told them that whoever could answer the question would receive a good reward and a very high position. The Prime Minister told his father, who said, Ah, but that's easy. Take a sponge and put one of the snakes under it. If the snake is worried, it's the male, and if it's quiet, it's the female. The proposed solution worked like a charm, but then the Asura asked, My elephant, who can tell how much my big elephant weighs? No one knew because no one had a scale big enough to weigh this pachyderm. The Prime Minister asked his father again, and his father replied, It's easy. Put the animal on a boat, mark the waterline and then replace the elephant with pebbles until you find the same waterline. Finally, simply add up the weight of all the pebbles to find the weight of the elephant. This procedure provided the right answer for the Asura, who was not yet finished with his questions. Which people should be said to be awake? And which people are not awake? Again nobody knew the answer, and the Prime Minister had to ask his father again. The latter said, True practitioners who have attained enlightenment are awakened people. And ordinary people are people who are not enlightened. On receiving this answer, the Asura appeared very displeased and said, A glass of water that contains more water than the ocean, who can understand that? No one could answer. The Prime Minister went to see his father again, who said, It's very easy. If you give a glass of water to the Buddha, or to an enlightened master, or to parents, or to sick people, or to those who are thirsty, the merits you will receive will be infinitely great. And although the water in the ocean may disappear one day, the benefit of your gesture will never disappear. Then the Asura transformed into a very skinny person whose bones could be seen through his skin, and said, Who can be more gnawed by hunger than I? The father still knew the answer, people who behave badly in life and accumulate a lot of bad karma will go to hell after they die and suffer hunger there more than this Asura. Then the Asura transformed into a beautiful woman and asked, Who can be more beautiful than me? No one knew. The Prime Minister asked his father again, and his father said, It's very simple, she's a girl who practices generosity and behaves in a just manner. Later, when she ascends to heavenly paradise, she will be more beautiful than the Asura. Then the Asura pointed to a piece of sandalwood and asked, which end was closer to the root and which end was closer to the tip of the tree. No one could answer. When the Prime Minister asked his father, the latter replied, Put this piece of wood in the water. The part that was closer to the root will be heavier, and the other part will float more. Then the Asura took two identical white horses and asked, Which of these horses is the mother and which is the son? Again the father knew the answer. Give them some food and the mother will surely let her son eat first. As soon as this last problem had been solved, the Asura was very pleased and said, I am very pleased with your answers and you will have my blessing. The king was very pleased in his turn and said to his prime minister, You are indeed very wise and gifted. I shall reward you richly. But the prime minister replied, It's not me. I've committed a sin and I'd like the king to forgive me. I've kept my father at home, he lives hidden in a cellar and he's the one who's answered all the questions. This wisdom comes from my father, not from me. I wish your majesty would allow us to keep our old men with us. The king said. Your father is indeed a great sage. I'm going to appoint him grand master of our country, and from now on we're not going to chase the elderly out of our country. 
I'll let you guess who the Prime Minister's father was. Bravo, you've guessed it, it was Shakyamuni Buddha. The Prime Minister was his disciple Saraputra and the king was Ajatashatru. The Asura was Ananda. From this sutra we understand that the Buddhists deeply respect the elderly because they have much wisdom and experience than we do. We must therefore show patience with them because they had patience themselves when we were young. Respect for parents is the main foundation of Buddhism.